Hello my friends, well that's a short video just a quick update about the status of my build of my wings and uh, about the Canadian pre-cover inspection. So first of all as you know I have completed at about 80% all my wings uh, assembly. What is not done is fuel tanks still require the top covers. Uh, my trailing edges on my ailerons and flaps has to be uh, glued in with the uh, tank sealant. I still have to attach the bottom cover on the wings at the very end of the assembly and maybe a few other snags which I have to fix. So basically it took me all together 317 hours, let's say 320 hours. So. At this point my wings assembly took me 320 hours and I would expect another 50 to 70 hours to invest into the trailing edges, covers and all that blah 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 stuff. So we look into 300 maybe 80 hours, 400 hours for wings. I don't know if it's too much or not too much. Uh, so let's say 400 hours will take me everything built, like all wings assembled and completed. So that's about my wings and at this point what I'm doing is I'm waiting for my fuselage kit to arrive. It's scheduled for creating date, begin first week of January. So my guess is, well, mid to end of January I will be able to, 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 get, my, uh, to get my hands on my uh, fuselage kit and from February start to work on it. So I'm looking forward to that, that's great. Now, Canadian pre-cover inspection. Well, you know, I, to be honest, I was kind of scared of the inspection because I was thinking like, hmm, like what's gonna happen really, how inspector gonna check everything and most likely he will find lots of snacks and issues. Anyway, the person who came to inspect it turned out to be extremely knowledgeable. Uh, person. So he's retired uh, airline guy and he's an uh, inspector, he was inspecting lots of things on big, small and everything, he has a huge experience. He's extremely knowledgeable person and it, he was actually a very nice person to deal with and to, to chat with. So he inspected everything, everything in a very detail using mirror, using flashlight, he was like through every rivet, every everything. And to my surprise, he found not that many snags. So we found about like six to eight rivets, which has to be replaced completely, just mainly because the uh, manufacturer head was damaged. It's like larger size rivets and I, uh, I just screw up manufacturer head. So those has to be drilled out and replaced. We also found about maybe two dozen or dozen small rivets along the edge here on the wings, which needs to be set a little bit more. So they are okay, but just set them a little bit more and it's gonna be great. Uh, no other snacks, to be honest. He was quite okay with my build. He said it's good. It's not so bad. So I'm sure that he saw worse, but I'm sure he saw way better builds than mine. I don't think I am averagely good builder because I'm beginner, so. But anyway, he was happy, so I'm happy because he was happy with that. So I have now a green light to start my uh, build, uh, to start closing procedure for my build parts. It's really good. And that's what I'm starting, actually starting next video, I'm gonna be doing that. In exception of the bottom skin of my wings, which I'm not planning to cover yet. So I'm planning to close my fuel tanks, planning to install uh, trailing edges on my uh, flaps, on my ailerons, close my tail cone parts, uh, specifically empennage parts, specifically rudder, vertical, horizontal stops, everything except bottom skin of the wings. And that I'm not covering just because I'm waiting for the uh, servo controller service for the autopilot to arrive. I'm still dealing with the uh, AOA slash PITO uh, probe, which I looks like I have to purchase 
Dynan one model maybe which has angle of attack and pito uh, that's again something what I'm working on right now uh, yeah so basically only the bottom skin here will be still opened and I guess as many of you did builders uh, of RV airplanes it can be done at very late time like closer to the to the very end so that's how it is now with my build with my inspection and I'm quite happy that it turned out to be a safe build so <laughs> my work was found to be safe and uh, it's you know like at the very beginning I was saying like oh that additional inspection it's needed but it's so much issue to keep everything open but now I'm looking at it at different angle uh, I know that I, I could bring and actually quite often to my hangar coming my uh, friends and my buddies here from the airfield who are also builders they looking at my build they saying hey that's good that's bad but when inspector looking at it he looks at it more from the safety point and it's another layer of security for me so like someone is checking my build after me every single rivet and it's different person because I am as a builder I may easily miss that mistake if I put that rivet I prefer someone else to check the rivet because for me it's probably gonna be okay because I already put it right so I saw how it how the shop had looked like and I said okay but for the inspector from his point of view it's gonna be different which is good so I'm happy with that that's how it is for now and yeah thank you for watching thank you for subscribing I'm gonna continue my uh, my videos about my build as soon as I get my fuselage kit but before that probably another video or maybe two will come out with the process of me covering everything up closing up the ports and installing the uh, landing lights into my leading edges or into my leading edges of my wings so I'm gonna have quite fun here to be honest and I'm looking forward to it thank you Take care, stay safe, bye.